This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control. We passed the 46-minute mark in our countdown. T-minus 45 minutes, 52 seconds, and counting. All elements still go in the countdown at this time. The hard worker in the spacecraft at this point in the countdown, astronaut Buzz Aldrin in the middle seat. He's been uh, working with the spacecraft test conductor on setting up proper switch settings in preparation for pressurizing their reaction control system. These are these uh, big thrusters on the side of the service module. There's actually 16 of them in four quadrants around the service module. They are used for maneuvers in space. We pressurize that system before liftoff. Uh, that uh, particular operation will be coming up in some five minutes or so. In preparation for it, Buzz Aldrin, who has most of the switches uh, in front of him, has been uh, preparing for that particular event. The launch vehicle people keeping an eye on the status of the various propellants aboard the Saturn V launch vehicle. Just at liftoff, uh, we will have a vehicle weighing close to six and a half million pounds on the launch pad. There's more than a million gallons of uh, propellants aboard the three stages of Saturn V. The reports here in the control center are the propellants are stable. We did take a look a little while ago at the RP-1, the high-grade high kerosene fuel that's used in the first stage of the Saturn V to make sure it was at its proper level. We keep an eye on these various aspects uh, throughout the count and use the aid of computers uh, to keep an overall look on general status. We're now at T-minus 44 minutes, 21 seconds and counting. This is Kennedy Launch Control.
This is Apollo Saturn launch control. We passed the 41 minute mark in our count. T minus 40 minutes, 53 seconds, and counting. We are continuing, and we're continuing very excellently at this time. There are no problems that have been reported in as the countdown uh, continues to click down. We're still aiming for the start of our window on this, the first flight to land men on the moon. Our, we're aiming toward our planned liftoff time of 9.32 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Coming up shortly will be a key test here in the firing room as far as the launch vehicle people are concerned. It's a, some final checks of the destruct system aboard the three stages of the Saturn V launch vehicle. In the event uh, during powered flight that the vehicle strayed rather violently off course, uh, the range safety officer could take action to destroy the vehicle. This obviously would occur after the astronauts were separated by their escape tower from the faulty vehicle. We make a check of the destruct system to assure that if a signal is required to get through, that in fact it will. This is what is coming up here in the control center at this time. All aspects of the mission still go. We're at T-minus 39 minutes, 47 seconds, and counting. This is Kennedy Launch Control.
This is Apollo Side on Launch Control. We passed the 36 minute mark in our countdown. T minus 35 minutes, 48 seconds, and counting. We've completed those range safety command checks, all still going well with the countdown. A short while ago, spacecraft test conductor Skip Chauvin asked uh, Neil Armstrong if the crew was comfortable up there. And uh, Neil reported back. He said, it's, we're very comfortable. It's very nice this morning. For a status report, we'll now switch to Mission Control, Houston. This is Apollo Mission Control. Flight Director Cliff Charlesworth's team is on station here in the Mission Operations Control Room, ready to assume the control of this flight at tower clearance. There is a possibility that Apollo 11 will check out the command module color TV camera during the first Earth revolution while in contact with the Goldstone Station. If this checkout does occur, we, we acquire Goldstone at 1 hour 29 minutes elapsed time. We have loss of signal at 1 hour 33 minutes 50 seconds elapsed time. This TV camera checkout is a possibility. This is Mission Control Houston.